reminds me of Miranda Sings, that's her name, not Megan. Miranda Sings, that's who this reminds me of. It looks like I ate lipstick. Like, Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I will be doing TikTok makeup hacks. I have done this video before. I don't know how many times I've done it, but I've done this video before. I've done five minute crafts before. So I'm excited to try these new hacks that I've seen all across TikTok with you guys and see if they work. Let you know if it's worth it. So if you're excited to see how these TikTok hacks turn out, then go ahead and keep watching. Awesome. I look like shit today. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, I don't have like full face of TikTok hacks. I just have some that I really, really wanted to try. So we're going to be doing like all the other makeup as well, but focusing mainly on the TikTok hacks that I have chosen to do. I will probably briefly just go through like certain things that don't really have hacks for them, but that I just do for like my makeup anyways. I do love watching like the makeup TikTok hacks but I will tell you a lot of my TikTok lately has been like mom stuff and just funny stuff. I don't actually see a lot of makeup stuff on there anymore. I actually don't do a lot of makeup stuff either. I just do like funny TikToks and you know stuff like that. I don't know. I just find like YouTube is is fine for my makeup. Instagram is fine for my makeup. I just feel like TikTok is kind of like my my getaway from the makeup. I love makeup. I'm not going anywhere but sometimes I need to mix it up a little bit. All right, so I'm going in with the um, Resi and AVH palette today. The reason that I chose this one is one, I haven't used it in forever. And two, it has glitter in it, which is gonna be a necessity later on for a TikTok hack I'm trying. <laughs> glitter. I just wanna do something that's easy and simple because I basically just need the glitter, but I don't wanna just throw glitter on my eye. And I needed like, glitter glitter not like shimmer do you know what i mean i look i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing I just trust the process also becca is on my shit list because i got their hydra mist setting powder which i'm going to be using today because tiktok it was all over tiktok that it's so great da, 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 da. i get it and i paid 40 dollars for this powder wait till you see it it's like half fucking empty excuse my language but come to find out, they're like, oh, well, there's only 10 grams in it. Okay, that's fine. How many of us really look at the weight? Not many of us. So you mean to tell me I just paid $40 for 10 grams of a product? Like, that's, that's bad. Like, that's, that is borderline ripoff bad. So I'm just to the point right now, I'm about to just start nixing companies right up off my shopping list. Cause I just don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. I don't care if they don't like it. Cause guess what? They don't pay me. So hmm. I went into 1988 right here in the palette, this dark chocolatey brown. And now I think I'm going to go into OG, which is this color right here and try to blend out some of that mess that I just put on my eye. I miss ABH palettes. I don't really go for them as much, but I do love a good ABH palette. Why am I using this brush? I hate this brush. So basically I'm just trying to diffuse like all that color that I just decided to place so much of. But I'm just, I'm not, I feel like I'm just not having a lot of luck when it comes to makeup companies and orders. The whole situation with Sephora and USPS. I just feel like maybe I need to go on a no buy situation. So now I'm just going on my eyes, on my lids, with the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer where I'm gonna place that glitter. And I'm just going all over the lid. Nothing crazy. Also, if you're peeping my earrings, these are the ones that I got from the beauty closet. I did a black owned business only haul. And I'll go ahead and link it up here for you guys to check out. Like so many awesome things I got. I freaking love it. And these earrings were definitely one of my favorite. And I'll probably wear them for the rest of my life. So now I'm going to go into... I think I'm gonna go into Gemini, which is this super, I think I'm gonna go into Gemini, which is like this super chunky brown glitter. I'm going in with this silicone brush I got from Morphe because it's supposed to place the, the glitters on really, oh my gosh, it really did. Holy crap. That's actually awesome. I mean, this is a little bit of a newer item for me, but 
still. Holy Toledo. So I found out that this is called the Morphe. This is the M760 Silicone Glitter Packer Brush. $6. Holy smokes. If you don't have this, you need to get it. I am so excited about this, guys. Okay, so now we're going to go into my face now that we have most of our eyes done. So I'm going in with the new e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Primer that I just got from Walmart. I did a drugstore ooh, makeup haul. So that's what it looks like. It looks like toothpaste. I'm not going to lie. Like runny tooth. Oh, it's really sticky. It's really sticky. Okay. It's like really sticky. Oh my god. I think this was a big one. This is, st is it supposed to be this sticky? Like I think it's trying to mimic the Hydra um, primer from Milk Makeup, but like, y'all, it's so sticky. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. So before I go into my foundation, I am going to be using the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And this is what it looks like. This was all over TikTok. All over TikTok. So I figured I would give it a try. Now I have one of their under eye correctors, but this is a color corrector. And this is in an orange shade. And I have used this one and I've had it. So this one's pretty old but I do love it a lot so I was excited and this is all over TikTok so we are gonna go in and use it I got the shade um, light to medium and you're supposed to just you can use it either before or after your concealer I'm gonna go in before just because I don't like putting anything but a little bit of powder on after okay so the next one is the foundation hack so basically what I've seen all over and again um, I don't know if I said it in the beginning of the video, but I don't know the original creators to a lot of these hacks. So I don't know who to give credit for. I've just seen all like the remakes and stuff. So just know I did not create any of these. So with this one, the girl that I saw put foundation all over her face. I'm going in with the Hourglass Vanish. And I'm just going to apply foundation so she just put it she didn't rub it in she just put it all over her face that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing foundation all over my face and then setting powder before you rub it in then she said let it dry a little bit we're gonna let it dry a little bit yeah, i'm gonna try to dry it faster so now that it has dried a little bit you just go in and put it on as usual. I feel like I did a lot of foundation this time around. A lot. So what the girl I would assume is the original poster of this trend because she did say she had come across it by accident. Apparently she was doing her makeup and like accidentally got her setting spray and sprayed it before she was even done her face makeup so we'll see we will see how it goes I can definitely feel it setting like into my skin a lot more like it doesn't feel as loose but however it could be crazy but I think it's like making my foundation oxidize up here does that look darker I don't know this foundation's a little bit dark on me either way I feel like with that under eye stuff, this does look a bit brighter, but I think I might go a little more layer over my foundation just to give it a little bit more oomph. Also, I will tell you that setting spray, I can feel the difference in my foundation. So this is a foundation that I wear constantly. So it's the reason I picked one that I wear frequently or have worn frequently is so I could really tell you if there was an instant difference. I'm just fixing that because I got some foundation on it. And there was. Like, I can, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's almost like it's, like, tight on my face. But it definitely feels like it's, like, it is in my skin. And I can see brightening here. I can. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in just a little bit. You know. You know me. I like to be extra. So I'm just gonna go in with just a little bit extra. Do you love how that, whoever made that uh, that hack up for the settings right, I actually love that. I did not, you remember that one that happened like a while ago and had everybody up in arms and it was like, 
put your setting powder on and then your setting spray and then then your foundation that stuff was so bad for my skin at least for my skin um so i was never into that one but this one is not bad like i really really like how this feels so for concealer i'm just going in with the makeup revolution and this is the conceal and define and it's not going to be too much lighter than my skin tone just because i want to see if the under eye brightener is actually doing what it's supposed to do you know what i mean i would hate to sit here and put on like a super super white concealer and be like oh yeah it worked and then like well it's my concealer this is actually turning out really nice i really really like this a lot so the next thing that i did see all over tiktok like i mentioned in the beginning of this video is the becca hydra mist set and refresh powder this was $39. Wait till you freaking see this. You're, you're going to be blown away. Yes, it does say on here. It's only point. It's 10 grams. Um, it says it on the website. It is only 10 grams. But I kid you not. It looks it looks empty. Look at that for $40. Now hold up. This is around $40 as well. And this is how many grams do you get? 25 grams. Like, that's insane to me. I had a lot of people on TikTok was like, oh, that looks used. It's not used. I 100% I, I don't waste it. There's not much left. I'm just going to do a little bit and I'm not going to use. Oh, it. that's so weird. It kind of feels like cooling. Oh, I do like how this feels. I will not lie. But I kind of feel like it picked up stuff here. Maybe it's just my eyes. I don't know. I got powder everywhere. I'm sitting here wasting this powder. Like, you know, <laughs> it didn't cost me $40 for 10 fucking grams. It's not bad though. I'm not gonna lie. I do kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know if I $40 like it for the little bit that you get. Also, where did all of this foundation come from? Oh, my neck. I swear to you guys, by the time I'm done these videos, my husband is like, what is all over you? It's foundation. <laughs> Please ignore it. I know it's hard to. I don't even know how it got there. Just, just shh. I will tell you guys, I do, I do like the powder. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like the powder. I do like the powder. I wish, wish that there was more to it. I wish that it was not as expensive as it is. I don't know that I like it enough that I would go and purchase it again, I feel like, but I definitely, I like it. Like it's not terrible. It's just so expensive. These under eyes, they are bright. <laughs> they are hella bright. Okay, I'm going to be going in with the Twinkle Highlighter from Jaclyn Cosmetics. And the reason I'm doing that is because somebody told me that even though it swatches white, it doesn't come off white. So I wanna actually try to wear this because I've been avoiding it. That comes off white. I know y'all see that. Oh my. You late. <laughs> you lied. That definitely comes off white. Oh my gosh. And now I'm gonna go in with <laughs> Twinkle from Jaclyn. Highlighter that's on my dang nose. That's what this is good for. This is for that perfect pop of inner corner color. Other than that, I'm not putting this on my face anymore. It's way, it's just way too white. Like, look at my nose. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to be doing winged liner, but with a bobby pin. So she covers the entire top of this with a liner and just places it. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna need my mirror to be a little bit more like in my face. Okay, I feel like this is not gonna work out. Oh my God. Okay, so. I think I just broke this stupid thing. She took it, so the long part's gonna be on the outer. So she covered it with this liquid liner, the whole thing, up until the V. All right, and then she just, we're gonna try this. Placed it. No. Heck no. Oh my God, no. I don't know what she did or how she did that, but I cannot get that to work. And now I have this ugly ass wing on my eye. 
Alright, well, I'm gonna have to do a wing because I've already done it, but that was not, that didn't work. She, like, covered the whole thing, and she just placed it there, and it made, like, this perfect little wing, and it did not do that to me. That's as good as we're getting it right now. Same technique on the other eye, and see if I can get it to just do it. Oh, that's so ugly. I don't like that liner. Please don't be crooked. I don't like this hack at all, 110%. I can tell you right now, I absolutely hate this hack. I don't know why this is a thing. These wings are not coming out. They are coming out a little bit. No, they're not even. They're not even even. I don't know. No. No. But that's definitely not a hack that I would recommend. And again, it could be that I have hooded eyes, but it just didn't. It didn't do my wings the way that I prefer. And look, at they're completely uneven. They're completely uneven. Ah! I'm so picky about my winged liner. And that's why most of the time I just don't do it. Because if I can't get it to be like, mm, then I just don't. Mm, mm, I don't like this at all. I don't, I don't like this at all. All right, so for mascara, I'm going to be doing lashes. But first I'm going to go in. So basically this hack, you hold a card and hold your lashes up and you basically just coat 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 the lashes so we're gonna try that I don't know how they do this with like out messing up their makeup but maybe they aren't wearing any makeup I don't know but I saw her she got this and she just like my lashes aren't even long enough to fucking do that her lashes were like all up on the card. And she went like crazy. All right, let's try this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, there we go. And apparently you just keep putting layers on. That is messing my contacts up bad. I mean, it definitely lifted it. You can't really see it. Cause the three inch freaking thick liner I have. But it definitely lifted it. The only problem is I have to be very careful because I wear contacts. So like looking up and like pulling on my eye for too long can really, really mess up my contact. So this is definitely a hack that I would try again. Like if I was wearing no lashes. That I like. Like I know it's hard to see because I have on, I have on this thick liner, but I promise you it's there and it's so beautiful like it really did lift my lashes up i will say these lashes so i have been wearing lunar beauty lashes for like the past month since i've got them and they are my favorite i literally takes me five seconds to put these lashes on and i'm on my way and i usually sh i don't struggle i wouldn't say i struggle i feel like that would be over exaggerating i don't struggle i just they're not my quickest part of my makeup it does take me a little bit that's why most of the time i do it off camera but these literally take me like seconds put the glue on let it get tacky however i will tell you because of all that mascara on my eyelashes i don't know if you could see this but like i have mascara all over my hands all over my hands i have wiped it a little bit but um i'm trying to hide I'm trying to hide this liner because she looks bad. So the last two hacks. First, I'm going to take tape. This girl said you can take tape to remove the glitter from your eyelid. And you don't get it all over your face when you're washing the makeup off. I'm going to do it now because I'm just going to apply the, the glitter back on. So that way I still have a full look. So she put it here. Do not try this at home. And she lifted it. It really did take the glitter off. I mean, it's still there, but if I was really trying to get all the glitter, it really did work. Okay, so that one I think is a hack, but, but, PSA, I would not recommend taking tape to your eyelids. I just think that one, if you have dry eyelids or you have any issues with your eyelids, it's gonna pull and tug on the skin 
and cause those issues to be more and also on top of that tugging you don't want anything to tug on your eyes like it's just not something you don't want to do that so i think that that's a really good hack but i just think wash the glitter off i mean i know it gets on our face and everything but i don't think it's worth you pulling and tugging on your eyes and getting all kinds of loose yucky skin so i do not recommend that one but it did work it did so if anyone is interested it did work but this is my psa to tell you it's not safe to do that the last one I saw this girl overline her lips so bad. I'll put that one. I think she is the original girl right here, the video, so you guys can see it. So she uses Kylie Cosmetics Leo and she literally overlines the hell out of her lips. That has to be, she's got to be kidding. That cannot be real. I'm not going to do an ombre. She uses the lip liner in Leo, but she does an ombre lip gloss. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do just Leo lip kit. Uh, <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, so I just have to make sure I do this right. So... All right, hold on. Serious time. I don't even think I drew as much as she did. Like, she really overlined hers. All right, so finally we have that on. This is ridiculous. And then she literally goes in to where she overlined. And she just. Like, she cannot actually wear this in public. I feel like you would tell. It is it is definitely realistic looking in her videos, but I feel like it's not. Like, you can see where my line of my lip is. But then again, she has very small lips. Like, her natural lips are pretty thin, so I'm wondering if that's what it is it just kind of disappears <laughs> so she's able to do this because my upper lip protrudes so there's no way I'm getting away with this. I wonder if it's because like it's me so I know that this is not correct but honestly like if you guys didn't know would you know? Should we put it to the test? Should we ask Steven? I'm gonna have Madison go get Steven. He's gonna know. Can you go get dad? What? What? Lips. You don't like this look? I don't like the lips. Why? Why are the lips so what? So big. Go get dad. Don't tell him. I'm going to see if he notices. <laughs> Madison noticed instantly. That's what I'm saying. She's not getting away with it. She doesn't wear this in public. She just does it for TikTok. What do you think? Wow. Do you love it? I do. Yeah? Yes. Do you spot anything different? Huh? Do you spot anything different? Your lips. What about them? They're full. Mm -hmm. Are they? Yeah. Mommy? Babe, I've overlined by like an inch. That's one also, of the tips. this is small. And this no, this hat, she cannot be going outside in this because you can see where my lip protrudes from my face. And again, it could be that she just has very flat lips. I don't know. When I go like this, you can't really tell. <laughs> but I better not talk. Like, if I smile. No, I don't recommend this, guys. Seriously, I just don't. I think, like, a little overlining. I do a little overlining. I think that it's it can be beautiful as long as it's done correctly. Um, but this reminds me of Miranda Sings. That's her name. Not Megan. Miranda Sings. That's who this reminds me of. It looks like I ate lipstick. Like it looks like I, it's too much. It's it's too much. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed these TikTok makeup hacks. If you want to see more of them, let me know down below. I really do have a lot of fun watching them and recreating them to see if hey maybe they work. The foundation and setting spray worked. The powder was okay. The I don't recommend it though. Forty dollars for ten grams is a ripoff. The under eye brightening cream was fantastic. The tape worked but again i don't recommend putting tape on your 
eyelids at all. This, that's gonna be a no. That's, I hate my winged liner because of that. So I would just, I would definitely, mm -mm, no, 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 no. But I did really, like I said, the two things that I think were my favorite were the under eye brightening cream and the setting spray and the foundation. Like my face feels really, really good. Like it feels locked into place. I know that sounds strange, but it feels really good. But let me know what you guys think about the hacks that I did. Which ones are you going to try? Which ones do you like? Which ones do you think are ridiculous? Like this lip. I look so silly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do six videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on those. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.